I'm so happy that we're uh, we have this program today. Um, a little over a year ago, when the, the Russians brutally and illegally invaded Ukraine, um, our friend uh, Oryna Krajewska uh, shifted the nonprofit that she is 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 in charge of and part of uh, in in Poland from the medical education work, I believe it was, that they've been doing, and began uh, collecting, buying, taking contributions of medical supplies and driving them into Ukraine um, as relief, as well as beginning to work with people, refugees who were leaving Ukraine, coming into Poland. Um, I think at the peak, there might have been uh, Arina, maybe correct me, but three million or more Polish or uh, Ukrainian uh, refugees in Poland, and and we were talking a little bit earlier. There still may be uh, that many uh, or, or or close to that number uh, in Poland. And Orina's foundation, um, the B Foundation, has continued uh, work with refugee people in in Poland. And I'll let I'll let her talk about this, but. Um, but we had a we had a program last year. We actually have had two programs, uh, and uh, Orina has been able to explain to people, you know, the work that they're doing, and and to enlist some some financial support from others. So, so I'm happy that we're we're getting back together again to get an update on the work that uh, Orina's group is doing. And and today, Orina is joined by Tadas Gembik. Uh, uh, who lives in Poland but is from Ukraine and is a social activist and a performer and uh, and uh, Orina shared with me that uh, the organization would not be what it is without Tadas. So uh, we're really uh, gr grateful, Tadas, that you've joined us here today. So uh, I will uh, go ahead and uh, mute myself and Orina, I'll 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 pass to you. And uh, let you let you take over the microphone. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, so, um, hello, to, and great to see you again, um, some of you. And uh, I would like to maybe um, start off with um, thanking Taras uh, that he's here today. And uh, I will, um, if that is okay with you, Taras, I would mainly like to ask you to uh, speak about what is going on. And also, I think as we are such a small group today, I think may maybe it's good to kind of open, a s treat it as an open uh, discussion more. And if you have any questions, and we're very happy to uh, to answer them if we can. And uh, just to, um, you know, to, to, to clarify and uh, to really underline, um, from the beginning, we have been working together with, uh, so our foundation with, uh, I, I think I named Bliskist Collective, as well as uh, Museum of Modern Art as, and um, Sunflower Solidarity uh, uh, Center many, many, many times, because we have been working as a, as a collective, uh, really sending uh, the transports, so sending medicine and medical equipment. And as you know, we have been, it's actually thanks really to you, we have been able to send such an amount of um, of things, of medicine, of medical equipment. And uh, so um, I think now um, I wanted to ask Asha today of the very, very exact update of uh, how much in sum we spent, we have uh, gathered um, and sent. But uh, in in my cal calculation, it, it is about 900,000 zloty, which is an uh, unbelievable amount of money uh, that was all sent to over to Ukraine and to hospitals uh, that we have been working with. But um, just to also uh, introduce more what we have been doing together uh, with Taras, and also I, I hope that Taras, uh, you can speak also of your activities and uh, and your perspective. Um, so um, we have been, um, and you, you you probably have been also familiar with this project um, that is very dear to our hearts. This is a common kitchen it, uh, that we love. 
um and it's been that it, it was this project was uh dedicated i hope it will be still because uh last actually last kitchen last common kitchen uh we held in february this year um and as to lack of funds we had to um um, uh, how do you say uh, sustain no uh, like um, uh, suspend it um, because uh, it's very important also for us when we invite someone um, to cook and to to um, lead this workshop this cooking workshop we we are really focused also on paying this person and we believe that this is uh, this is a way also of supporting someone who comes shares something of their own culture. Uh, so we can really learn from each other. We can spend time together, and we had really crazy times at the at the table. I have to say. Um, so anyway, so um, last kitchen happened in February this year, and we really, really would love to continue with this project. As I I can say for myself that, and also Taras, I believe you will you will support me in this uh, view that support dropped. Uh, hugely and also it's very difficult to sustain um interest and we can i i think we can also see it i'm I'm very happy to to see you but we can also see by amount of people um who are joining um, to talk to listen to support um and I, and and probably this is another phase another another time that we are facing and I and for, as for me it's another challenge that we are facing how to sustain help and how to uh, make it um, uh, adequate to times and uh, and to problems that we are facing um, so just to tell you also uh, briefly for other project that we also um, with uh, with Taras and with um, with Bliskist, Bliskist so with um, Maria um, Baburia who is uh, uh, Taras's uh, uh, co um, co sister and also um, uh, co founder uh, of the collective. Uh, we have been running uh, classes for kids, and this is still goes on once a week. So every Monday we have about thirty to forty kids who benefit from from classes, and this is all, always stress reduction, and um, yoga, creative movement, and creative art classes, and uh, and this goes very well. And I hope that we can continue with with the, with these activities um so this is oh, uh just to also update you on i i prepared some photos so maybe after we discuss um i can show you the latest photos of of the transports and of the classes of uh of our cook cooking workshops but um but that maybe happens later and i i just wanted to tell you about transports so we have uh this year we sent two more transports one was in february and one was in april and we're just waiting for um, medicine uh, that we ordered. So there will be one more. And all these these two transports, uh, they went to Tarnopol and also Odessa. And as usual, uh, it's uh, it happens by us um, receiving list of need needs. So very specific things. So we always buy things that we can uh, regarding the amount of money that we that we actually uh, have so um, so our response is uh, is always depends on, on how much we have so um, it's not anymore <coughs> it's not anyone it's not anymore one transport a week as we used to do um, it's much less but we're ready to you know to continue um, whenever we can so uh this is pretty much what, what, like the quick updates uh, of things, but, uh, and sorry, uh, Taras, for taking so long, because I want to really, uh, I'm very, very, no, very, it's okay. uh, that okay, you're Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh... So uh, can I, Taras, can I maybe ask you um, mm -hmm. of your perspective of what is most needed now and um, how do you see how do you see us in Poland? Um, and yeah, I'm here if you need me, of course. Okay. 
And first of all, I uh, I want to say uh, thank you so much for your support among uh, last year and uh, and and now. And uh, second thing, it's my English not uh, the best, but uh, but I will be try and uh, Orina um, sometimes support me. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I uh, I see you um, first time, but I'm I'm very happy um, be here and with with you. And uh, my name is uh, Taras Gambik. Um, I'm a Ukrainian, and uh, I'm uh, living in Poland 10, 10, 10 years. Uh, I work in Museum of Modern Art in Warsaw. And uh, I organize uh, um, two collectives. Uh, first, uh, first collectives, it's a briskist, it's a closeness. And with Maria Babuya, with uh, what you are going to say. And we work um, with, uh, sorry, uh, we work. Uh, we work with um, migrants, uh, refugees, and uh, people of um, crisis of homelessness. And uh, after uh, after twenty four February, we um, um, we organize solidarity community center uh, with uh, with friends with. Uh, Orina with uh, Foundation uh, Bonch. And uh, yeah, and we started with, uh, with, collect, uh, with collect medicine, with um, organize um, activities uh, for, um, for, um, for refugees. Uh, for um, activities for uh, children, um, child, and etc. Et and uh, and yeah, and we started um, organized common kitchen. Uh, it it uh, it was a very special um, workshop, special uh, meeting uh, for me. Because uh, because you know people loved uh, it, and people loved uh, uh, cook. It's uh, and when you moved from Ukraine to Poland because you you want safe space in our country. You need doing something what what was your normal reality. You need uh, meet and met people, you need uh, talking. You know, refugees it's it's a not it's a not only about uh, fair, scary and blah blah blah. It's it's a human. And uh, our program with Orina, it's a program which give people feel, feel humanity, feel um, godness, feel... Um, uh, wait, sorry. Um, wait, wait, wait. Feel brave, feel um, give a little bit a normal life in other country. It's dignity, it's dignity, and and you know my practice is it's um, it's very ab about. Uh, community about society, and when I work with with some crisis, you know, it's a crisis of sp 
people of, of homeless or a refugees crisis or migrant crisis yeah uh, i think in uh, about society general you know when when i have uh, pain i don't know um, finger i feel pain in all my body and when when i think about some group who now is in crisis yeah i thinking about society general we need help we need we need support uh, we need support these people because now in poland ukrainian group it's a polish society it's a polish uh, it's a polish people it's a polish humans and uh, and for me it's uh, it's a very important uh, giving people uh, di di divinity yeah? yes. dignity. dignity dignity sorry sorry and uh, i met uh, last time i mean two two weeks ago I met uh, Pani Lubov. Pani Lubov is uh, our uh, cook, uh, cook teacher. She is uh, uh, she is a teacher um, in in school, and uh, she now uh, live in Kiev. And uh, and she say me, uh, Taras, I have a one dream. Uh, it's a dream um, about how I can. Mm, collect children my 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 class and how i can move this these young people moved to uh, to poland and how i can see uh, them um some some other reality because them uh, their reality it's a bombing their reality it's a, a siren song their reality it's a shelter bombing shelter and other others um, other activities uh, and um, and dealing with with war uh and uh, and now in ukraine we um, i mean we ha we 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 have a um, very hard situation because uh, russian uh, russians don't stop um, bombing our cities a uh, russian don't stop uh, russian yeah russian don't stop and every day uh, in ukraine um, died people died uh, children it's um For me, you know, I, I sometimes I think in why, yeah, why it's happening, why it's started, and I don't have answer for this question. I don't have question, but I have one thing that. I'm live. I'm alive. I'm in a safe space, and I need doing all for helping people, for helping my dad, because my dad now it's fight for East uh, in in East Ukraine, and uh, 
and yeah, and now it's now it's my it's my mission and. Uh, For do it my mission, of course, I need um, I need the materials uh, support. I need a, um, I need a place. I need a, I need I need the money. Yeah, yeah, because it's uh, it's very about uh, about about uh, about this and. And yeah, and uh, in Poland, uh, situation a very um, maybe um, now when Polish government uh, don't support really don't support. Um, Ukrainian family or Ukrainian uh, uh, children. Now we need we need do some more. We need um, we need be a a more flexibility. We need uh, be a. Um, a more uh, supportive for these people, uh, and yeah, and I, I see that a situation uh, change, and uh, and I know and uh, I believe. Um, That people, people who are around, around us, um, first of all, praise <laughs> and uh, send uh, sense uh, sentence, uh, and uh, second. I really believe. And I know that when we stay together, when we stay um, like shoulder by shoulder, shoulder, yeah, shoulder by uh, shoulder, uh, we are winner now because power, power in people, power in. Uh, Community uh, power in um, jakby człowieku, który jest na przeciwko. Yeah, in a person um, that stands um, in front of me or in front of us. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, and, and I know we. We will win, yeah, and we win now, yeah. And thank you, and uh, maybe have some uh, question, or maybe Arina, I need to uh, tell about more about something. Please tell me. And sorry for my English, really, and um, I'm I'm try. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you, Taras. Uh, I, I, I just want to say one more thing that without Taras, we wouldn't do anything. That uh, really, I'm very, very grateful for your, um, for everything that you have been doing and your spirit. And uh, it's been really, uh, I, I have to tell you, all, all of you, that uh, Taras has been an amazing leader for all of us, uh, but also um, it's this this community and what everything what you have been describing has been an answer somehow. It's it's very it's very mm, hard to uh, put it in words, but 
um, the only thing is to act and to stand together and stand beside each other and and uh, this is what what we can do still um, and we're trying to to keep on going like this so and also I just wanted to um, relate what you said about our common responsibility because I as for Poland I also see it as now you know that that we are one and it's not about and it's not it's not about um responsibility that is uh, you know pointed at someone or um someone who is coming someone who receives now our reality that we're all together here and um, and that's that's why as as for me that you know there, there's there's many questions on how to on social level sustain that kindness that curiosity um willingness to help one another to get to know each other we can do we can do it by what we do i i think and we would like to we would love to continue with you know with with mrs lubov and with other amazing people that we have been inviting also to share bits of themselves and this is how we can we can build these bridges this is how how i see it and also just to say about uh these classes for kids that's that's the idea behind it sometimes it's it's difficult to organize it like organizing wise because we don't have our own space so we go to to at the moment to three different spaces uh with the with these classes um but for me the idea would be to really um have kids and have people from all around the world not only from ukraine but you know so everybody's welcome because uh this is the answer to um yeah not to not to build walls but to build bridges it's very um yeah um th this is how how i see it um but anyways, uh, maybe maybe we can, uh, as as we are a small group today, maybe maybe you have questions, especially to Taras, who is uh, best informed, and um, and I will I will show you later some pictures, and uh, also uh, obviously mm, the biggest struggle always for us is money, and is um, and we keep on trying to. Um, to collect as much as possible because the needs are very wide so um there is one part of the money being sent over to ukraine so uh so it's for purchase of medicine but on the other hand the needs are are growing here in poland so um i will post later um, all the details for bank transfers if you have any ideas also uh who might be interested in supporting us that would be great um i will do it now because I i'll forget otherwise but maybe also if you have any questions to us or to taras mainly yeah feel free to, to uh just wave your hand and, and unmute if you have a question and uh as we are all standing here shoulder to shoulder as taras said jacqueline Um, hi, good morning. Thank you so much for what you're doing. And um, I'm I'm really interested in supporting your effort. And of course, sending money is number one. I'm wondering what other ways, um, as well as sending money, um, we could support you. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, best support uh, for um, for me, our 
activities of, uh, of my country. It's um, it's a talk with your neighbors about what and how uh, what do what doing now you know in ukraine or what uh, do it doing now um, in poland because poland it's a um, front country yeah, near ukraine uh, i mean we really talk uh, about this um, with with your friends or with your family um, and and information it's really a very 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 good point what you can do in your life about war about about um, about situation about people um, yeah i mean it's it will be okay yeah oh you know i i don't know where you where you 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 live now and maybe you have near your home or near your i don't know best shop um some organization who um who support or who help uh, refugees uh ukrainian or belarusian or uh, chechenian you know it's it's all about people or people which we see every day people who who now in crisis crises yeah and i mean it's uh, it's 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 will be the best yeah thank you Thomas. Um, thank you monica i see you have your uh your little hand up. <laughs> yes. Hello. Good midday. Good noon. Good afternoon. Good evening. I'm very impressed and very moved to hear about the community so dedicating to the needs of the of the people um, who need to find some normality, as Tara so beautifully pointed out, and. Um, what I heard reminded me of um, of my 10 day trip to Greece, to Athens, um, to see, meet, encounter, help the refugees there who lived in a camp. And my question, I have some questions and some ideas. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I, I, I suppose there are, there are similarities. There are always similarities <laughs> and there are differences. So in Piraeus, there were some advantages, if you want. There was the advantage of good weather for the, uh, and uh, of, of uh, so, so I mean, people could, could uh, uh, children could play outside and so things like that. So I imagine the winter is not really gone in Poland. So I was really scared about the cold temperature. Um, secondly, there, there was a place where all the refugees, not all, but mainly were stuffed, so to speak, in camps, in tents. So you would find them again and again and again. You made friendships and you could return the next day. And you could, you could uh, see where, where, where people were used in the kitchen or to talk with people or to play with, with children or to help them translating things. They were mo mostly Africans, and so so. What I I have no idea where the refugees how they lodge. How, where do they sleep? Do they have to do they have to go? I imagine perhaps a long way to find to find um, to find the meals. Uh, 
what are they doing in between so i have not i needed some a picture of the infrastructure or the logistics of all this and or perhaps it is totally more disorganized than i i imagine and now i want to tell you my idea i feel called to come to poland next year i was anyway so so i'm thinking something like that that um, we figure out which months would be the best from different points of views and then i would like to spread the word in my in my city i would write to i would try to write something or ask you if you have all already written something because this would be raising interest for friends and colleagues of mine also engaged in this and the jewish synagogues for example are very much engaged in in ukrainian refugees in bonn and cologne but also in other places so i would like to inform them and i would like to ask them who wants to go with me and if not with me who wants to go at another month for example so that perhaps um people are help will help you and you will know where to where to put them so to speak <laughs> we just come and say i'm available is this a good idea and i have such and such time i have perhaps one 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 uh, one week but younger people sometimes have much more time so in Piraeus, in Greek, there were many, many young people engaging from all over the world. They had months sometimes really to engage and to help. And I have the idea to mobilize a bit such a similar interest and wave of solidarity. What do you think about that? Orina or Charles, you want to? Yeah, Charles, do you want to say? Mm, maybe you. <laughs> uh, I think uh, as as from, I think it would require. This is a, a a great idea for new because we need to look for new ways of engaging. I think, and uh, and obviously, if the interest was so um, so high, even to come to Poland, that would maybe bring some more awareness around the community that you were in which would be already amazing the only thing that the uh, i think it would require a lot of structuring before and uh, because we we had some um um experience in france uh, even from from uh, zen peacemaker coming to poland and it was difficult in terms of language barrier and also in terms of the really real work also. So what can be done at the spot as we don't have, it, it doesn't look anymore as it used to because the beginning of the war when we were uh, at the Museum of Modern Art and with this uh, really manufacture of sandwiches that Taras was directing um, and people coming mainly to train stations it was a tent city pretty much at the train mm -hmm. station okay uh, but it doesn't look anymore like this so it's it's much more i see subtle and hidden the problem mm -hmm. one year later and uh, i believe it, it depends it depends what activities would be uh, created and structured for people who would come with interest of help, and I believe everything is up to uh, up to us, as long as it's uh, everybody feels needed, and everybody feels that there is a raise of awareness and a raise of of like we we um, we make the community big, bigger. So uh, this is how I see it. I don't know Taras if you. Uh, mm -hmm. feel this way I agree well. with you. I think the you know the the for me and it's a, it's an open question because you know you have all of you you have an amazing also heart and view on helping others in very also long term perspective and I want to also just uh, say something for, for uh, about what you said Jeff at the beginning because um, 
our foundation still works as, as it used to work uh, in the field of uh, health education and holistic approach to health and everything we have been doing, uh, we still continue. It's just that uh, we, um, we made ourselves bigger because before the invasion, um, we were focused on long-term, on, on education is long-term, it's always long-term. It sees uh, the needs, it takes time. So we do, and we believe that hopefully one day, you know, health will be seen as, um, as something much, much, deeper, wider, and more complex than just, you know, uh, treating symptoms. But um, but since the invasion, we also, well, for me, it's all also about somehow holistic approach because, because holistic approach talks about being one of this oneness. And I believe also on social level, if something happens, if, uh, if, um, uh, how do you say, if um, pain happens as, as it happens, we ought to react adequately. And that's why we act, we started to act here and now. So, um, so for me, the, the, the huge challenge now and huge uh, question and big question is how to one year later sustain whatever Taras was talking about, so everything what Taras was talking about. So sustain um, the the interest. How can we do that? How can we do that? And Taras uh, said, and I, I, I agree completely I agree, I agree completely that it's about taking even small actions like talking to your neighbors or um or doing S small things even it, it doesn't have to be huge but it, it is huge it ends up huge yeah 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 sorry sorry of course i'm thinking about um what you said the additional support alongside the money of it's basically communication which of course zelensky is doing brilliantly all over the world and um and in keeping people's interest um, aroused around the situation so it doesn't fade and and um, so in that light in terms of disseminating communication where we live is it possible to get um, writing of like you who are there in the middle of it that we could then bring to our communities, mag um, newspapers, things like that. Um, that's a way that we might be able to help over here is we, I mean, I'm a writer, I can write in my own words, but I think it's much more powerful to have the words of people who are right in the middle of the situation, what they have to say, and their art and their um, to bring to take that information and bring it into um into our community to keep interest alive and to um alert people to this is what's happening this is what it feels like and and stories are such a great way of stimulating interest and um and 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 uh, um creating more community so I'm wondering if there's any way uh, that we could get from, from your community um, things written uh, or art or whatever that we could then pass on. How do you feel, Taras? A možná ještě pošle do toto tlumačit dokladně. Uh, I, I will translate uh, briefly. Mm -hmm. uh, więc uh, Jacqueline mówi o tym, że uh, jakby zastanawiając się nad tym, jak dalej uh, utrzymać zainteresowanie i utrzymać, mm -hmm. uh, jakby da dalej nieść słowo, 
to ona, ona jest pisarką i ona zapytała, czy jest szansa, żebyśmy przygotowali napisane coś, co będzie nasz, ja myślę, że głównie waszą, twoją perspektywą tego, co, jakby co się dzieje i co jest potrzebne, mhm. co chcemy dalej przekazać i ona wtedy może iść do mediów, tam mhm. gdzie ona jest, do ludzi, tam gdzie ona jest, ale ona powiedziała, że ona może jakby napisać coś, ale to nie mhm. będzie to samo, co po prostu słowo, które się niesie i historia, która jest, która jest opowieścią. I ja myślę, że to jest super pomysł, bo ja mam, to, ja mam dużo napisane w ogóle, mhm. wiesz, z takich po prostu podsumowań, ale gdybyśmy zrobili takiego wspólnego, taki dokument wspólny, ja. To wtedy, to wtedy to i możemy całej tej grupie rozesłać i w ogóle mhm. jakby to, y, i, i myślę, że to jest bardzo dobry pomysł. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good, very great idea and uh, yeah, yeah, and um, uh, what you can say that uh, Zelensky say very important and uh, very uh, high and and we know, but I mean. Um, we need um, we need send uh, um, our um, our our history uh, history what make here in Poland with uh, our um, experience with Arena with Foundation Bunch um, with uh, closeness group and uh, some clubber. And uh, and yeah and um, I mean it, for people will be interesting reading about um, about real history history who, who, who which which makes now and and here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I I also would like to say that um, the collective uh, this is re this was really and is a collective work. So I think it's hard to even name now all of our friends who have been involved and who are involved. But this is a group of people, and without whom nothing would happen. And everyone has something to say about this experience. And uh, and I believe um, this. I, I agree with generally. I agree <laughs> with what Taras says. You and know, also, uh, the idea. Uh, just to add on, and then uh, then Monica has her hand up, and Paki, I see, I see you too. But uh, um, it this is a good idea as far as communicating, and if, if there is a document. Uh, and if we can get good translators, you know, I'm thinking just on the screen, we have, you know, English, Ukrainian, Polish, German, uh, Swedish, uh, and then, you know, and, and perhaps others that uh, people have have their uh, screens off. But if we hit, if we can get good translators into a number of languages, you know, including Italian and Portuguese and so forth, uh, was at Zen Peacemakers, we would be happy to make these documents available. Uh, to the community, as, as as you know, we've got six thousand community members in in probably twenty five countries. So uh, uh, this could be useful if it's helpful. Monica, you have your hand up, and then after Monica, pocket. Yes, I'm happy that uh, this um, um, proposal to bring forward some document together with the bank accounts together with the lists as it was last last year uh, with the lists what is needed the, so that it can be easily renew, renewed perhaps this would be really um, helpful and um, I would also like to perhaps have some help from you uh, where we could find um, cheap cheap uh, lodging in groups so 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 apartments uh, simple apartments that would be also useful, I think, to put it also on the same document for the Europeans who really would like to go. And um, and to the question of how to support, um, my experience also with Southern Italy and Lampedusa is 
better not to have any ideas <laughs> about help. So, so, so I would vote and also tell other people, friends of mine, to just be available. It's the best expression I've found and uh, I think this serves everywhere to do everything what is needed, even to buy something with another person. And I think the, the barriers of language cannot be higher than with Arabs. So, so just to use the handy and the, the apps can be a source of fun. You see, I, I do not want to denigrate the difficulties, but I want to bring in big optimism, optimism and a, a gratefulness for this occasion to share and to plan, to make concrete plans and starting with the first steps. So thank you. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Uh, Paki, uh, do you, would you like to go? Thank you. And thanks, Rina and Taras, for what you've shared and all your work, of course. Uh, I It seems like you have had one of these meetings before, and I wasn't there if it was last year or somewhere. Uh, so I might have missed stuff that you've talked about before. But so I, I have a few questions. I, I, I really like the idea that, was it uh, Shaklin who worked up to, to share stories from what's happening for Ukrainians in Poland right now and to or for, from people who are activists in Poland right now also so of course from Polish people uh, and to share that with with the, the local Swedish Sangha or other people around to, to communicate that that it's a very powerful thing to to from heart to heart so to speak but then also as for me who I, I understood some of the things that you do to to uh, collect money for medicine for specific specific needs and then to send them and then you talk about uh, classes for children and you talked about this common kitchen and uh, even if i don't have to understand it right now what you're doing is there some and maybe that was what, what you were talking about but some kind of description in english or like in sweden we it's i could share that with people in english with my sangha or, or different people and people will will understand and to if we could just it would be nice to come and, and be in Poland, of course, but also I think that the money is more direct in ways we could raise money here and to, to send to you. It would be a great thing. So so is there something that, that's easily already produced, maybe a description of your work, what you do? So it could be maybe through Jeff and some peacemakers and then out to the local sanghas. It would be really great. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. I... Uh... Yeah, I, I I do have all the ex, um, descriptions, so uh, great. I'll be very happy to send them over to you. May I also ask you one more question? Because I understand that things have shifted when, when the when the invasion happened, and the world's like shock and and and. Uh, compassion that arose around that and that people want to do stuff and I, I can see that it's that you're you're scared of the lesson listening support now from the from the world but I also heard in the at least in Sweden that what the news told us what that the Polish people were like receiving Ukrainians with open arms in many ways and really helping out in many different ways and is 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 has that changed in Poland now or has as and, and is it is it uh, much left to the to 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 the like the, what do you say to just the people or are the government are they doing anything in Poland or is it very much up to different groups to help out to do things or is is there some is there some structure of support in Poland from from government and so on is it you know, what's happened with that that's what, that's my Mm -hmm. Taras, do you want to say? I think your perspective is much, much. Uh, yeah, better. yeah, and um, I mean, it's um, it's an exchange, of course. And I mean, first of all, and um, biggest problem started when Polish government um, say that uh, Ukrainian refugees needed uh, needed pay for. Uh, for refugee sh shelter. It's a really and very uh, high cost. Uh, you know, it's 
it's I mean it's happened uh, maybe four months ago you know um, ten ten months uh, ten months of of war you know people really um, shocked people uh, started step by step understanding and learning uh, language started um, um, started uh, met people started um, started living in other country yeah and uh, of course in warsaw and in poland uh, uh, pro problem um, with uh, with works i mean uh, with official works and uh, when you uh, when you refugees it's a problem um, to step more or three step more yeah uh, and uh, high uh, and uh, and it's the first of all and uh, second thing i mean um I heard and I see uh, a little, a bit more um, sometimes um, racist moments, uh, xenophobic moments, and uh, in, you know, Ukrainian uh, before. Uh, before uh, started full scale invasion uh, it was really very very bad nickname or you know you ukrainian you are um, um uh, you only dish uh, you only wash dishes and you only um, you know, um, uh, work um, work uh, work in, in 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 the shop, yeah. And of course, after twenty four, it's it's change. You know, in Poland, it will be same situation. It's uh, very about uh, Ukrainian brave and blah 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 blah. But time time going here yeah? and. Uh, Mm. And now, I mean, uh, our programs, our um, community, and um, our solidarity, and our um, um, assimilating program, it's a most uh, important now. It's it's much more important than last year. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and so, uh, and I uh, I I see uh, I see I see exchange. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a real. Thank you for the comments, Pake, and, and, and for your response, Tadas. Thank you. Thank you. We have we have time. Any other questions or comments? Jacqueline, it's okay. Go ahead. I'm making lots of questions and comments here. Um, so uh, I just wanted to um, say that it in in america right now there's high inflation and there's um lots of different causes people are wanting to send money to um there's a lot of competition for um people with good hearts who want to give um and and i'm i'm thinking i'm putting that to get so in other words we need to be strategic and clever about how we solicit funds because 
there's a lot of people who are paying more for less and 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 they're we're tightening the belts we're tightening our a lot of people are tightening their belts here um and and i'm th putting that together with what you said to us about the dignity the the um interest the the need for people to express themselves and to um uh feel that they're making a valuable difference um and in terms of that uh i'm just thinking out loud with this but um if there's something that people can make that we can sell over here, that we could promote selling of music, art. I, I, I have bought art from Ukrainian artists in this last year directly. And so I sent the money to the artists and, and it enabled the artists to also continue doing their work. So it kind of had, it hit both areas of money and dignity, and um, I I don't have uh, uh, I I don't know what there is on the ground, but I think that it would be an interesting angle to encourage support of of um, artists and of and 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 an exchange where there's an exchange somehow. Um, so, uh, I just wanted to throw that out there as a possible direction for obtaining money and, and interest in the situation. Thank you, Jacqueline. And, and uh, uh, before we, uh, before we run out of, we still have a little bit more time, but I do want to point out, Orina put into the chat, uh, a PDF file with the information about bank transfer and, and PayPal. And if you, uh, I just did it so I know this works. If you open that, there's a little, a little uh, bubble with th three dots on it. And if you right click the dots, you can, you can save the, save this little PDF to your, your computer or your phone or, or something like that too. So I, I wanted to make sure we pointed it out. Arena, th thank you for putting that up there. So. Thank you, Jeff. Yep. Uh, can I say, uh, Taras, przetłumaczyć? Czy, czy wszystko mm. zrozumiałe? Nie zrozumiałem. Ja sobie myślę, że może, może możesz powiedzieć dwa słowa o Galasie i też o, o, wiesz, o waszych inicjatywach, bo, bo myślę, że tutaj uh, to też jest jakby dobry punkt. Mm -hmm. uh, ok, maybe. Mm, czy ja mogę, maybe I can wyłączyć. A, ja bym mógł pokazać Instagram e, Galasu. Aj. Super, bo może e, can Taras share screen? Yeah. Yes, let me, um, let me make him uh, mm -hmm. I made you co-host, but I'll now, Taras, you are now co-host also. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, one moment, please. Mm. Okay. Sorry, sorry. One moment, please. And uh, Taras, I'm thinking also maybe maybe there is uh, something you would like to also highlight, um, and initiatives or something that is you know really worth also spreading, uh, except what we said about the programs we do, but there is so much going on also worth checking. Czyli może, wiesz, mógłbyś też w dwóch słowach powiedzieć jeszcze, tak nakierować ich, na co zwracać uwagę, wiesz, czy są inicjatywy, które mogliby wesprzeć jeszcze mm -hmm. tak myślę, nie? żeby to wykorzystać. So I, I, I can't uh, share my, uh, my, my, my monitor, but, but okay, I'm... You want me uh, to? Mm -hmm. Please. I will, I will try to uh, share screen. 
Uh, you want uh, Galas, yeah? Yeah. And uh, and yeah, and we started our um, activities in, in February, and uh, um, when um, weather was was a cold and weather was um, uh, snowy and uh, March and April, it uh, was in Poland always. <laughs> <laughs> not a good uh, month uh, for uh, outside activities and outside uh, some uh, organized um, some organized uh, events and uh, and yeah and I'm with my uh, friends uh, Vlada and Katerina it's um, it's a young people who live uh, in Warsaw. Um, we started thinking how we can, it, what we can do um, in outside. Yeah, uh, because inside museum, a step by step um, started very warmly. And uh, we create, my uh, thought in initiatives, what what I co uh, co organize, it's uh, it's a galas, uh, galas. It's a uh, English. It's a noise. Uh, it's uh, initiatives um, for uh, for young, not not young. Uh, for young people uh, um, when and where we um, maybe you can uh, go to uh, yeah down uh, maybe first uh, first uh, no 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 down 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 yeah it's we and we are creating space Oh, it's a Pani Lubov, and uh, yeah, and uh, we are creating space for uh, um, for young people who who live uh, who live here before and after and after full scale invasion, and you know what uh, young people loved and what um, what people lo loved good music. Uh, good compa companions, uh, good uh, good time with um, um, with DJ set, and we started organize uh, charity um, charity events uh, where we um, collect money. Um, where we sell, uh, sell um, Ukrainian, Belarusian, Polish, uh, uh, young, uh, young, uh, and young artists. Um, we also cook together, and we make uh, our with Orina common common kitchen in uh, in 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 Galas. And uh, and yeah, we are invite uh, we are invite people, and we we make some noise in Warsaw. <laughs> yeah, with uh, with with uh, DJs, with um, with people here, in, and uh, our um, and um, our. Uh, um, and our um, point it's uh, uh, integration it's uh, good music it's uh, uh, our tradition for contemporary time you know yeah it's an uh, old uh, oldest uh, ukrainian uh, tradition for uh, christmas time uh, yeah and uh, and yeah and we meet we dance. Uh, we spend time. Uh, we spend time together, 
and uh, yeah, and we uh, we collect uh, money, and yeah, it's Ekaterina, uh, Vlad, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's but last I think, time. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I don't know. It's uh, I think also um, uh, the very uh, I think the ge genius idea behind this that it's it's not only time of like the, the fun time together no fun of course mm -hmm. no no it's fun fun because you but, know it's 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 about what i say when we started you know people need people need to uh, mm, catch some reality normal uh, normalities yeah, it's 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 a very important. But but also, I think the uh, what you just uh, relating to what you said, Jacqueline, about uh, selling art, that I think mm -hmm. this is also a, a big part that people can just come with whatever they have and they can sell these things. And um, I don't know if that would be possible, but maybe recreating in a very small. Um, I, I don't know, just, just throwing out idea, you know, recreating galas somewhere else than only in Warsaw would be amazing also to to have that idea go further of of having this event somewhere. And sometimes, you know, the, the art is can be a small thing or it can be invented by, by someone, something that can be taken home and also bought not... Um, not very expensive, not very, but but something. But there is, but there is something that is given and something that is received, as you say. And I think this is a, it's it's a, an amazing event and formula. Yeah. Yeah. And last event we made uh, one week ago. Yeah. It was uh, was nineteenth uh, Museum of Modern Art in Warsaw. Yeah, and maybe you can show some pictures. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah, it's um, selling okay. art, plays music. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, DJs, people who come. Mm. It's mm, cakes, birthday cakes, the museum, yeah, it's the 19th museum also, yeah. And now we collaborate with some some institution. It's uh, it's a result our our activities now uh, biggest uh, some institution invite us to make uh, some together and it's uh, very nice because uh, you know the institution have um have a big publics yeah people around and uh, and we say and we uh, and we can uh, make noise uh, more and more and high and high yeah Very good, thank you so much. Uh, Go ahead, Arina. Yeah, I wanted to, I uh, maybe just last one, uh, I have one one question to Taras. Uh, is there anything you would like to, uh, like any initiative or something that is worth checking over in Ukraine? Uh, is there anything, you know, you think is really worth also um, highlighting? You know, mm -hmm. uh, because you have been working with you know amounts of um, also institutions in over in Ukraine and uh, NGOs in Ukraine. Um, oh, when I uh, when uh, some someone uh, asked me about uh, initiatives or uh, NGO in Ukraine who helping and. Uh, uh, what we need follow, 
and I mean, and I also I, I always thinking uh, with um, about I always thinking about uh, people who um, people who uh, able to do some odnośnie do takiego socium są bardziej krucha. Okay, so people who are more uh, vulnerable and fragile um, regarding, you know, the the um, the general level. So someone who is uh, who, who is just more fragile than others. Yeah, and it's it's a uh, organize organize um, NGO and organization who help. Mm, who helped um, LGBTQ plus plus uh, people, um, organization who help um, people uh, crisis, uh, crisis of homeless people who uh, who support. Uh, who support animals? Yeah, it's 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 a very important because now in Ukraine it's it's I mean we we have a climate catastrophe. You know, it's 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 it's, it's a, a real, yeah, and um, and uh, and yeah, and I I be put my eyes to organization to small organization to um, small group of people uh, because because you know war it's it's it, it's very sad but suddenly war marginalized marginalized marginalization community you know it, it, it's a tool and it's mm. a real life and uh, and yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Well, we're, we're, we're getting close to the end of our time. If there's another question or a comment, uh, we have a few more minutes if, if uh, anyone has anything. Yeah, I thought to show you actually uh, pictures from if we have, I mean, the questions may happen. And then if I share screen anyways, I'll show you just pictures from a few pictures from last classes that we had. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, sorry, wasn't prepared. So, um, yeah, as I told you, we were doing uh, classes now every Monday at three, actually um, three places. So this is uh, two foundations that we co-work with. This is a uh, Legia Foundation or Arca Foundation. And this is for Ukrainian as well as Polish uh, kids all together. And, um, and also Matarenka School, that is a strictly Ukrainian school. These are kids that we were preparing some, <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is this is what happens every Monday. And I would hope to actually be back because last last year, um, and this is yeah, Pani Lubov, we we were talking about already. Um, so this is. Um, we really would hope to be outside uh, this year again, as we did last year, last summer. Yeah. Oh, it's a very interesting uh, thing that we we work uh, not only with Pani Lubov, it's a Ukrainian uh, refugees. We work uh, to with Khedi uh, Aliyeva. It's the biggest Chechenian activist who who live in. Uh, who live with your country because uh, you know Chechnya Cic now it's uh, also um, also in Russian uh, Russian Russian invasion 
and uh, Hedia Liva makes very biggest, I mean, very biggest good things in Poland and really change situation, uh, really change situation here from, um, you know, um, Islamic phobia from uh, Chechenian people and uh, yeah, it's, um, it's really a super uh, superwoman, yeah. <laughs> and we uh, and we, uh, yeah. Mm. And this is from this is from our uh, last last transports. Uh, this is actually pictures from the doctors uh, we always uh, receive. So uh, these are. The, the, this is the equipment. Uh, it's a sur surg um, for, for rapid surgery. I think this is like a chest seal or something um, that that was ordered uh, according to the needs. Uh, yeah, th this is uh, yeah, it just shows what we what we ordered and also what is being done with the equipment. I'm sorry, but I have I think I th there is like a drastic also picture that I don't know if I want to show you. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah. This is our friends. This is um, Maro, uh, Taras's friend and sister. This is Kaya, uh, uh, our sister and friend, and also Tatiana, uh, who's been uh, our uh, friend and translator from the yeah. from the very beginning. Um, so pretty much. You have probably most of you have seen these procedures because I have been sending uh, sending all these uh, videos and and photos. But this is how it pretty much it works: that uh, we order, we pack, we prepare the list of needs, and uh, Mr. Uh, Igor, who is um, a very amazing driver, and he uh, he's in Poland every week, pretty much. Um, all the time driving uh, things across the border and then uh, and then getting them across the border into places. Um, so we prepare, yeah, this is Kaya. Yeah, And I wanted to show you also, uh, this is what our friend Tatiana uh, recently um, uh, sent us. This is from uh, a neurosurgeon from the hospital, and he has listed all the people who have benefited from the um, equipment, surg surgery equipment uh, that we have sent, which was very, very touching and very moving that he had found time to do that um, and to show us, obviously, without, um, without showing the names. So this is it. This is what I wanted to also share with you, so to so you could see how it how it looks like on, uh, here. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll stop sharing. Okay. Thank you, Arina. Thank you, Arina. Well, we are we are coming up to the end of our time. Um, I want to thank uh, Taras and Arina for sharing uh, your your work and your your love uh, and your stories um, and very much appreciated. And I wanna thank everyone else for spending the hour and a half together uh, you know, to hear what, what's going on in Ukraine and Poland. So um, <clears throat> we can say goodbye, I think now, and uh, uh, I wish everyone good health and safety and, and take, care of, take care of yourselves, take care of someone else. So thank yeah. you all. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much.